Today we're going to take a look at how to update your Microbit firmware. Um, in order to do this, we need to first kind of go ahead and test and see which current version of firmware is actually located on our Microbit. Uh, this will be actually located under our interface version. So the first thing we'll want to do is we'll want to go ahead and take our Microbit and plug it into our computer. This will allow us to see two files once it actually opens up in our browser window here. Um, when I click on Microbit, you're going to see that you have this .txt file and a .htm file. What we're going to actually need to utilize here is that details.txt file. Uh, once we go ahead and open that file up, what we want to look at is this current interface version that we see right here. At this current point, we have version 0241. This is the older version that we need to update to 0250. This will allow us to do a couple different things in the make code environment, like clicking on that purple download button and having the programs basically go directly to your micro bit once it is paired. So in order to update this, we're going to have to take that micro bit and actually place it into maintenance mode. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this and I'm going to unplug my micro bit. Now, in order to get that into maintenance mode, what I'm going to need to go ahead and do is on the back of the micro bit, there's a black button. I'm going to hold down that button. And as I'm holding it down, I'm going to take that USB cord and plug it directly into my computer, holding down that button until that screen pops up again. Once that screen pops up, you're going to notice that you do see a maintenance button here or maintenance icon. We can go ahead and let go of that black reset button. And what we're going to go ahead and do now is uh, we are ready to kind of go and update that firmware. We're going to go ahead and drop a .hex file right onto that maintenance folder. So for right now, I'm going to need to minimize that. What I'll do next is I'm going to actually navigate to microbit.org forward slash guide forward slash firmware forward slash. And this will bring you to your updating microbit uh, firmware page. As you kind of scroll down a little bit, it'll kind of describe what I've just done and kind of gone through and how to find that interface version and how to update your firmware. But the biggest thing here is we need to kind of download the latest microbit firmware that's out there. So I'm going to go ahead and download that, and you'll see it'll pop up down at the bottom as it uploads. We're ready to kind of go and drop that onto that actual microbit or that maintenance icon. So I can go ahead and bring that back open. And from here, it's pretty much as simple as just taking that file and dropping it right onto there. So in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and I have to navigate to my downloads and find that file. You see, there it is right there. And I'm just going to take that, and over here, I'm going to go ahead and find that maintenance and drop it right on top. It'll take a minute to kind of upload. You'll see it shows 40%, and that'll go through. Now, once it actually updates that new firmware, you're going to notice that it'll automatically eject out of maintenance mode, and it'll put me back into my micro bit, where I can now go to that details.txt file again. Uh, let's go ahead and check and see what the interface version is at this current time. So here you can see that we now have an interface version of 0250. Uh, that's going to allow us to update that firmware to the newest firmware that's out there at this time. Now, just to double check and make sure that this is all good, what I like to do is I'll go into make code, and we're going to see about pairing an actual micro bit to our device. Now that we have a current firmware, we can kind of just go ahead and open up any file here. And from this file here, what I want to do is go to my settings and pair the device. Once I pair that device, I can go ahead and select pair. I'm going to find the micro bit that I want to pair with and connect. It tells me that the device is now paired and trying to download. If everything worked correctly, I should be able to go ahead and click this download button. And my program that you see here on the screen should download directly right onto the micro bit once it's paired. So I can go ahead and click on that. I should see some yellow flashing lights on my micro bit, which I do, which tells me the program is downloading to that micro bit. And now I know that my firmware is updated along with uh, being able to pair my micro bit. So again, if you need uh, additional help with pairing this or updating your firmware, please just navigate to that following website or URL at the top of the screen there. And uh, there are pretty decent directions on how to actually go ahead and do this.